All right, you guys, it is about 5 a.m. I'm heading up to Green Bay once again to fish with my good friend Chris Barsh from In The Bag Guide Service. Just filling up with gas real quick at Quick Trip. Got some energy drinks. I'm about to hit the road. I got about a three hour drive. Got a little bit of a late start. First official fishing trip of the year. Chris had the day open. Couldn't pass it up. I have not fished yet really this year at all. Threw a couple casts from shore just for fun. Caught um, three walleye, I think. Maybe I'll throw up a picture or two, but didn't really get enough for an episode. So that was just a little one hour lunch break trip. But uh, today I'll be fishing about a half day, maybe a little more, but I'm really excited, really pumped, obviously to be fishing with Chris, one of the best guides up in Green Bay and it is spring. So it's prime time for big, fat, female pre-spawn walleye. So got a shot at a 30 inch every time you're up here, we're gonna be on the actual bay in open water, which is what I prefer to do. So I'm really excited, very thankful for the opportunity. Hopefully you will see me in a couple hours and Chris catching a bunch of Green Bay gold. And uh, who knows, haven't hit that 30 mark in a couple years. Hopefully today is the day. It's a bit ironic, the last time I went fishing with Chris, it was storming and raining when I hit the road with crazy lightning all over the place. And we have exactly the same conditions right now. Uh, last time I was with him, when we had that crazy weather, he stuck a 50 inch muskie and a 47 inch muskie. So <laughs> today's target species is walleye, but who knows, maybe this is a sign of things to come. Hopefully we get a couple giant Green Bay walleye today. Stay tuned, let's get after it. There's one. There's one. Right at the boat too. Not a big one, but to start. Heck yeah, dude, it's a nice one. Not a big one, but it's a good start. <laughs> it's not a bad one. Sweet, you guys finally got one. New spot. Been here, what, five, five, ten minutes maybe? You want to get me off of there? We go. It's a nice one, yeah, 24, 25 maybe. Maybe a little more. <clears throat> All right, you guys, here we go. 
Nice mid 20 incher, probably 24, maybe 25, really fat pre spawner. Really nice fish. Gonna let her go though. almost had it now I think I ruined it come on bro work with me dude I thought I was out then I kind of yanked it hard and it nodded <sighs> blew it I blew it couldn't get it see if that little it's there's a little little permanent knot. Let's see if that will cause problems or not. There's one. There's one, that one feels a little better. Or it's just hooked funny. Oh, oh, oh. That one feels a little better. It's either hooked funny or it's just a better fish. I don't know it, it feels kind of funny it's either i mean it could it could be a really good fish but it, it almost feels like it's hooked a little funny oh no it's a decent one it's a decent one nope it is hooked funny look see yep he, yep he he popped off and i could tell you i felt the hit but then it felt funny right when it when it uh started to fight yep it's just a little guy i was like it's either a giant or it's hooked funny that's funny. That's weird. He must have must have spit the hook and then oh, oh now he's got energy all of a sudden. You were lazy the whole way in, dude. Yeah, I could tell it's fighting funny. I'm like, I just don't feel it right. This little guy, we'll get him off quick. Alright you guys. Pretty sure this was a either a swing and a miss or it got off immediately because I felt the hit, but then slack line and then all of a sudden it was fighting funny so got him hooked in the back fin there in the belly nice fish lower 20s let him go got one any size feel good Let's go, bro. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good one, dude. You want me to do it or are you going to do it? Okay. It's a good one, dude. Chris is hooked up, you guys, with a nice one. It's super cool. I'm getting a lot of it already. Heck yeah, do bring it up here. That's what. That's got to be what 27. Yeah, let's see for sure. Oh gosh, that's a good one, bro. I think it might be one more than that. He's really fat. That's probably look how fat that thing is, bro. Look at that fish, you guys, bro. That might that might go 28, 29, dude. Look how wide it is. We'll just go for the hand land. Do it. Oh my gosh, that's a beauty, bro. We gotta get pictures of that. <laughs> look at that, you guys. Bro, that was awesome. He's gotta go 28, dude. That's 
Oh my bro, you gotta bump that dude. Heck yeah, dude, that thing's a monster, dude. Let's get some pictures. Bro, that's an 11 pounder. You have to, that thing's 11 pounds, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. There we go, one, two, three. Let me do one more, one, two, three. All right, let me get some on my phone real quick. Ready, do something like this, there we go. Ready, one, two, three. That's awesome, dude. You guys, 11 pounds probably, right? Yeah, I would say so. 11. That was Sir. sick, dude. one <laughs> as you said it that was way out there on that red one too the red eye yeah coming right towards you yeah, I think I'm gonna have to He's changing directions a little bit now. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, other side, he's still going. No, he's back, he's coming back this way now. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he's under the boat, he's under the boat. He's under the boat. Here he comes, ready? Bigger than my last, maybe. Yeah. Heavier. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Sweet, dude. He looks like he's not much longer, though. Uh, he might be. I'll bump him, maybe. Pliers here. Sweet, dude. Chris just said, "Why aren't you guys biting?" And I got to bite on that cast. All right, you guys. Really nice mid 20 inch pre-spawn walleye, super thick, super healthy. We're gonna let her go though. Awesome. All right, we're gonna put her back, you guys. There she goes. Got one? Dude, finally. How's it feel? Chris is hooked up again, you guys. Sweet, dude. Little male. Heck yeah, dude. Chris was just saying he couldn't believe he hasn't gotten one on the stinking hair jig yet. Force fed him. Force. Sweet. Smallest one today, but still a nice one. It's probably what, 20? <laughs> on the drop. That's awesome. Waiting with his mouth open down there. Yeah, holy cow, perfect. Perfect eater. No, I'm good, man. <laughs> it's a perfect eater, though. Here we go. That one hit on the drop, you guys. Pretty cool. 
<laughs> you literally just lifted the first time it was already there. There you go. How's it feel? <laughs> hey, at least we can end on a fish. Heck yeah, though, dude. Chunky. Yeah, that one's thick, dude. Heck yeah, dude. That's a nice one. Nice chunk. That thing's really fat, bro. Look at that thing. Heck yeah, dude. That's a good one to end on. Here we go, you guys. Chris got another one. We each missed one earlier. I just missed another one a minute ago. This thing is full. Holy cow. Look how fat that thing is. Sweet, dude. There's one. Yep. Something funny. Something funny. <laughs> What's going on here? What is going on here? You marked a bunch of fish, you said? going on with you homie you are not happy whatever you are it's hard to say let's see nope it's it's a piker it, it, I was like gosh it, I knew it was small and that's why I thought maybe it's hooked in the mouth it's just swimming really hard but Ha <laughs> ha, figures. Get some line. <laughs> oh my gosh, little bike. I thought it was just swimming, you know, like in its mouth. That's why I thought it might be a small Walter just cruising, you know, a little male. Look at that stupid thing. <laughs> We're going to end on that. I got to get one more cast. I can't end on we can't end on that. That's 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 ridiculous. All right, you guys, that's a wrap. The fishing was tough. It was extremely slow. The weather was terrible. Clear skies, flat calm, not ideal. However, I can't complain. We caught fish, I got a couple of nice mid 20 inchers, and that fish that Chris caught you guys was an absolute giant. And that is why you come to Green Bay. That is why we fish these waters, because you're always hoping for a fish of that caliber. So we got it done. That 29 incher that Chris caught is a trophy, but honestly guys, for me personally, I've never seen a fish, a walleye, that fat, that thick with that kind of girth. It was unreal. That fish was easily in the 12 pound range which is pretty rare for a 29 incher. So thank you again, Chris, had a blast. As always, I love fishing with you, man. It was a blessing, I learned a bunch, and I'll definitely be back. Hopefully for walleye this year yet, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it happen, but me and Chris were talking. I'm gonna try to get back up here at least one more time this year to get on some walleye with him. But you guys, if you're looking to hire a guide in Green Bay to go after walleye or muskie, you need to call Chris, okay? In the bag guide service, I'll have his information down in the description below. But before I wrap this up, you guys, real quick, I wanted to let you know the equipment I was using because you guys, anyone can do this. The fishing up here, sometimes the bite can be tough, but this style of fishing, this presentation is simple. It's easy. You can do it. Anyone can do it. You come up here, you hire a guide like Chris, you got a shot at catching the walleye of a lifetime. But what I was using, you guys, was a seven and a half foot medium Okuma Deadeye Fishing Walleye Rod with 10 pound braid. And at the end of my line, I tie on my own homemade fluorocarbon leaders. I had a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader at the end of my line. And the reason why I do that, you guys, is because if the line gets in the mouth of the walleye, 
their teeth can easily cut through braided line. So it would be an absolute disaster if you hooked a big fish and the line got in its mouth and it broke you off. So with, with fluorocarbon, it's much harder for them to break that line with their teeth. So that was it, you guys. That was my setup for my rod. Seven and a half foot medium Okuma dead eye fishing rod with 10 pound braid and a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader at the end of my line. The baits we're using, guys, they're called rip and wraps. No secret, nothing new. Everybody's using them up here. Those rip and wraps are made by Rapala. We were using the size seven mostly. Most of our fish came on the size seven, but we did catch a few on the size six, which is a little bit smaller. But all you're doing, you guys, is you're casting out as far as you can. You're letting that bait sink to the bottom and you're just popping it up and down. You're just kind of jigging it back to the boat. You let it hit the bottom, you lift up, you let it sink down, maybe let it pause for a second and lift up again. You can do different cadences. You can just do one and then let it sink, one and then let it sink, or you can do one, two. It really doesn't matter. There's really no wrong way to do it. You just need to pay attention to what the fish are doing and you need to respond to their behavior. On a day like today, the conditions were terrible. The bite was really slow. So we were doing slower lifts and longer pauses and letting them sit in the bottom for a second or two before we lifted again. So we would jig up, let it sink to the bottom and we were doing kind of like a slower lift, let it sink to the bottom and then we'd let it sit for one to two seconds and then lift up again. When the fish are hot and more aggressive, you can be more aggressive with your retrieve, quicker, harder pulls. It can be a lot of fun. But either way, you guys, that's basically it. That's the setup I was using. That's the lure, and that's how we retrieve these lures. And again, tough bite, but we got it done. We caught some fish, and we caught a giant. We got a true trophy in the bag. So it was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one, and like always, just keep casting.